Templates allow you to change the look and feel of your slides without having to go through and edit each individual slide. Now this helps speed up the process of creating slides and you can match your slides to new content in one click. Now you can save these templates and use them later and you can even share them with other computers. Now templates are used throughout the program for many different features, so let's look at how to use and create templates. To apply a template to our current document, I'm just going to go up to template and then I can choose any of these awesome pre-built templates. So we could do something simple like changing out which font we're using. So I'm going to just switch to Georgia and you'll see that it's just switched our typeface. But you can do more than just switch out typefaces. You can change a lot of different settings with templates. So we'll go to template and then I'm going to choose this impact template of this quote one. And when we apply this template, you'll see that it's not only changed our font, it's changed the color of the font, the alignment, where it's placed on the screen, and it's even added an image in the background. Now we have a couple different preferences we can utilize as we're changing through these different templates. So I'm going to go up to template and then down here we have refactor preferences. Our first preference says that if our text is too large to fit inside the text box, it's going to size it down, it's going to scale it down to fit inside that box. And our next one is preserve text attributes. So if we have some different text attributes like bold, italic, underline, or superscript applied to any text in our document, when we switch templates, it'll keep that text bold, underline, italic, or superscript so that we don't have to go back and readjust those things. So let's see how this first option works. So we'll just check this. And I'm gonna to go to this watercolor template and I'm gonna apply this lower third template. And what's gonna happen is it size down all of our text to fit inside that text box. If I would go back and reapply this without the option, you'll see that some of our text actually gets cut off at the bottom. Now you can apply templates to an entire document that way. You can also apply a template to a specific slide. So I could go to this slide and switch the template of just this one slide. I also can apply templates to multiple documents. So if I go over here to my library or to a playlist and select two documents or more, I can uh, go up to template. I can apply a new template. So let's go to lyric styles here and we'll do like this uh, lower third lyric style. And it's gonna warn us saying it's gonna apply to two different templates. I'll hit okay. Okay, and you'll see that it's applied it to all the different documents I have selected. So now that we understand how to apply templates, let's learn how to create some. So I'm going to go up here to template, then I'm going to go down to new template group. And we're going to just name this group uh, Brad's template group and hit save. And this is going to bring us into our template editor. Now this is very similar to a slide editor, but we're creating templates from this. So we're going to create things that are going to be reused when we apply them. So the first thing we're going to do is add a text box here. I'm going to just add some placeholder text so we can see what it looks like. So we'll just write test a couple times here so we can see what our text will look like. And now we can start adjusting this. We're gonna create a basic lyric style template. So I'm gonna center this. We'll maybe change our font face and uh, we can maybe make this italic and change the size up to like 50. So it's a pretty large text. If we wanted to apply maybe a drop shadow of this, we could go down here to shadow, change the radius of this to like 10 and maybe the shadow opacity we could turn up a little bit more. So now we have our first lyric style, but let's name this slide. So I'm gonna to go to my slide properties. I'm gonna give this a slide label of a full screen text. So now let's create one more template and I'm just gonna go here. I'm gonna copy this slide and I'm gonna paste it. And so we have another version of this. I'm gonna change the title of this one to lower third. And this is gonna be our lower third version. So now we'll just take the same test text that we have here. I'm gonna move this down towards the bottom and uh, maybe this won't fit all of our lines very well. So we'll only do two lines of text for this lower third template. And we can move this down here a little bit. Let's add a rectangle behind this so that we can see our lower third text a little bit better. Move this down to the bottom. We'll change the color of this to uh, maybe like a blue color so it's a little bit more eye-pleasing and send it to the back and so we have like a little lower third template here. Now we could spend time making this look nicer but that works for now. So now we can close out of our template editor and let's apply this to one of our songs. So I'm gonna go to Amazing Grace and we're gonna go to Template, 
Brad's and let's look at our full screen text. We have nice full screen text there. And then we can go to Brad's and go to the lower third version and you'll see we have our lower third version. Now it doesn't quite fit everything okay so we might have to do the size text to fit option and we can reapply that lower third and now all of our text fits. It's a little small but it all fits. Now there's a couple other ways that we can create templates. So I'm gonna go down to Oceans here and I have some text on the screen and I wanna create a template from this text that I formatted. So there's a couple ways we can do this. We can right click on a slide and we can go to Template and we can do Save Selected Slide or Slides as a template group. The other way we can do it is we can go to Brad's and we can do Add Slide to Template Group. That way we can add this slide to my template group so I don't have to keep recreating template groups over and over again. So I'm going to add this slide to our template group. And now if I go back to Amazing Grace, I can go to Template, Brad's, and you'll see this Template 3 it created. And I can apply that. Now this has the exact same look as Oceans does down here so we can quickly and easily create templates based on slides that we have already created. Now that we've spent time creating some templates, let's export them to share with other computers. So I'm gonna just go up to File, Export Templates, and you'll see a list of all of the different templates, including this new one, Brad's, that we can export out to use on a different computer. You'll also see a CCLI and social media template that we can save out all of the different templates that are used for those features. And then all you have to do is hit Export. Now don't forget that you can create templates for different things like social media and Bibles. And these templates in particular have some special different object settings that you'll need to set for them to work properly. And you can find out how to create those templates inside the Bibles tutorial and the social media tutorial. So that's how you create and utilize templates.